So team, for you, as Joy and I coach you up in terms of being a great listener or a champion listener, there's three levels of listening. The first level of listening is me listening, trying to figure out kind of what my comeback's going to be and me starting to listen to insert myself. So it's really all about me. I'm not necessarily listening and engaged in the person to hear their story. I'm listening so that I can kind of get my story in there. So that's level one. Level two means I'm coming from a place of curiosity. So I'm listening and I'm curious, but I'm still ready to put myself in there. So it's not, I'm not a pure vessel. I'm not listening purely just to hear, to listen, to understand. I've got me kind of front and center versus a level three means I've removed me. I'm out of the way. I'm showing up with this open heart, open mind, open spirit, kind of open self to receive and to listen at a really deep level. So huge MeQ skill. Let's really practice. I want to challenge all of us to be level three listeners and to get ourselves, our beliefs, you know, just our vision of what's right out of the way so that we can learn something new. And with that learning, it gives us the ability to step into change and see like, okay, it's going to be uncomfortable. It's going to feel really different because this isn't what I do. So what are some winning strategies for really learning how to be different, Joy? I think some winning strategies for learning how to be different are just being open to uh, other possibilities. I think when we think about uh, some of our routines and how we've always done things, we think of um, there's a, a certain uh, uncom uncomfortable feeling if we are not used to doing things a certain way. Yeah. So I think with learning comes a lot of just being willing, willing to try things, try new things and, you know, understand that it might not be the, correct thing. Sometimes there might be mistakes or it might not feel right, but just really being able to learn from taking some of those chances and um, learning and acquiring those new skills and, you know, uh, new possibilities that could come with, with what you learn. So Joy, I want to talk about failure because something that happens when we do something new is all of us like to kind of be a master at what we do. We want the confidence. We, we love to show up really being our best self. And when we introduce change from my own life, I know when I've gone through change, I've been really nervous about, am I going to be good enough at this? Am I going to lose really the, what I've gained in life? Um, there's fear. There's, there's just a lot that's packed inside the concept of change because I am going for something different. So tell us about in your life, a time when you went through change and you know you failed, which happens to all of us. And what did you learn from the experience? I think, um, you know, when, one big thing, I mean, I got fired from my job and that's always a thing where you think about it, you see it happen, you empathize with people, but until it really happens, you have that feeling like, you know, I'm a complete failure. That, it's probably the first thing that, that came up for me um, is that, wow, I failed. And then I really didn't think about all the, the great things that we had done in that program, the great things I had done throughout my career and the successes that I had. I just think about that one thing. And I think that's whether it's losing a game sometimes in sport, whether it's losing a job or, you know, mistakes that we made with anything. I think that the, the thing that I quickly was able to see is that, yes, I failed in that instance. Um, there were some things that might not have gone, gone right, um, whether it was in my control or not, but what can I learn from the situation? If I have the opportunity um, or when I'm able to be back around a team or be in an environment uh, when I get my next job, yeah. what are some things that I've learned from my failure that I was able to bring to the next spot? And, and one of my failures, um, quite frankly, in, in being transparent is that with some of my relationships, I probably took them for granted in terms mm -hmm. of being connected staying connected, um, whether it was athletes or colleagues or whatever it is, and, and to maintain and keep building relationships. And so one thing that I took with me is that, hey, I don't want to ever take certain relationships for granted. I want to continue to be strong in that area and to really build relationships and, and, and give hope to people mm -hmm. at all times. So I think, um, you know, there's a lot that I've learned. If I was still in that same job, I might not have, I might still be taking those things for granted. So mm -hmm. it's a blessing that you don't like it when it happens to failure, but to come out of it and be on the other side of it now, there's a lot of blessings and a lot of lessons that I learned from that.